when it comes to life, nothing is more precious. Whether we are rich or poor, famous or unknown, one thing is certain, we will all die. It's what we do with the time that we have, the words, the lessons, the experiences that we leave behind that make us unique. I could read an obituary about my grandfather's life, but that wouldn't do him justice. It's better that I just tell you my experiences, because in the end, that is what any of us have a chance to leave behind. Lessons. Experiences. He was a simple man, a farmer, a barber, a husband, a father. He believed that if you worked hard, you would make it in the world. I know, I said it before, but he built his own house. Every nail. He had a barber shop in Amityville and he used to give me and my cousins haircuts. Me and my cousins would always stay overnight at his house and play games, ride bikes, and watch cable TV, which, well, believe it or not, was a rare luxury in the day. My grandparents would watch with us, and my grandmother, well, <laughs> she loved to watch Bugs Bunny. My grandfather was a bit of a jokester. He would take us out for walks, and he would take two sneakers and tie the shoelaces together and toss them over the power lines to get them stuck up there. I know, that's awful, but it's one of those things that he actually did. He was in the war, only because he was drafted and forced to go or else go to jail. If you ask him if he ever killed anyone, he never answered. He could play the accordion. It was such a fun and strange thing to see him pull that out when family got together at the house. Family would always get together at the house. I got a pine tree on Arbor Day at Pine Forge Elementary School. Since my family lived in a trailer park, we decided to plant it at my grandfather's house since he owned the land. To this day, my tree still stands. It's taller than me. My grandfather hit me once. Just one time. I know, you're probably thinking that this is a bad thing. Well, it wasn't. I lived a pretty easygoing childhood. And what happened, well, I said something just so stupid and so ignorant that he gave me a quick smack and I knew right away that what I said was stupid and I knew that I had crossed that line. I respect him all the more for that. He even knew how to fly a plane. My grandparents created us through love dedication, and hard work. For them, family and life were everything. I could only wish to be half the man that he was.